Hi there, I'm Jeremy Krug, and in this video today, we're going to be learning how to uh, run a quick recall match as either a moderator or a buzzer operator or a host coach using buzzin.live. And so the first thing that you want to do is, of course, go over to buzzin.live, as you can see on my browser here. Now, I'm going to click Create Game, since I'm going to be the game administrator, the, uh, the buzzer operator here. Your players, of course, are going to click join game because they're going to be the ones that go in there and actually buzz in and play. Now there are two tiers. You can run quick recall matches fairly simply with the free tier. It won't cost you anything. Although the premium tier gives you some more options. You get uh, you, you can keep track of points a little bit better and you have some other uh, buzzing sounds and it uh, works pretty well actually. The premium key can be pretty cheap if you just want it for for, for one day. It's 99 cents. If you want to do it for the whole year for practice and things like that, it's about 20 bucks. So I'm going to use my premium key that I have here. And so I'm going to go in here and enter that. Okay, so I have logged in with my premium uh, uh, code here, with my premium key. And you'll notice that there's a game code up here, 487461. That's my code for this particular game. And that's the code that the players are going to enter whenever they uh, join the game. So I'll have to let them know what that code is. Now, I do have some players that are going to be joining us. So I'm gonna, we'll, we'll see them pop up here. And um, we'll see what happens when they join. Oh, we have Jason has just joined and Carolyn. We had someone join it. Jacob has joined and looks like Riley has joined as well. So we have these four players and I don't have any teams listed here. I want to assign them to teams. I'm going to add teams and let's call the first team. I don't want to be, uh, um, I won't show any partiality. So I'll just show a random name here. We'll call East and then we'll call the, the other team West. So I key in those names and so now I have teams. I need to assign the kids to the teams. Okay, so if you click, we'll call them East, we'll put this one on West, we'll put this one on East, we'll put this one on West. And so you can see it's pretty easy to assign players to, uh, to teams. Now it looks like Riley just disconnected, so I can tell whenever someone is not in there. So let's send a message over to Riley to make sure that she gets in. Send a message over there. And oh, there we go. Riley's back in. Now notice I have Riley disconnected. I'm gonna I can remove her pretty easily by clicking that little signal there. And yes, so the old Riley ID is out. So we have everybody ready to go. Now it looks like Riley's disconnected again. So sometimes we have connection problems. Okay, that just happens. And so you may have to have them use a different device, and that's okay. So that, that happens sometimes. I'm just going to kick them out for now so I can show you how this works. So we have a few options. Oh, and by the way, if you have a premium key, you can change uh, the settings a little bit more. Uh, you want to show the teams. You want to show the points. Um, I would not allow players to join the team by themselves, but it's up to you. You can have them do that. Um, I normally don't have an early buzz penalty unless your league has that. In West Kentucky Academic Association, we don't. Uh, points increment one, and we want to have one buzz only. Okay, that locks out everyone else after the first buzz. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a sound there so that we can actually hear who's buzzing in. So, by the way, students will actually hear the buzz as well. If you if you select this, if you X that out, they won't. But it's okay. In fact, it's good to have the kids hear the buzzing sound. So now I can close the settings, and we have a timer on here, which is kind of nice. So in Quick Recall, I like to set this to five seconds because I know that it takes five seconds to buzz in there. Uh, and so we can ask a question, and let's see what happens when someone buzzes in. Let's have someone buzz in. Oh, here we have. So it looks like Jason just buzzed in, so I can spot them. And I can actually uh, even change their name there. And, you know, if if Jason is on the, 
is on the east team, then I can actually change this so that I have east JSON so that I can spot very easily. Okay, I can do the same thing for uh, Carolyn over here. Carolyn's on the West team, so we'll say West Carolyn. And you can change the names from this interface. So East is Jacob, so East Jacob. So somebody had bad Wi Fi there. Riley had bad Wi Fi. So the ones who are not buzzed are locked out. Okay, they can try buzzing in. So the, so the rest of them can try buzzing in. It says that they're locked. All right, so let's clear it out. And you can ask the question, so you ask the toss-up, for example, and then when you're done, you hit start, so that you can see that timer counting down, and then, oh, looks like West Carolyn buzzed in before the zero was out, and so if she gets the point, we'll give her the point here, add one, and look at this, we have a little scoreboard, and so West has a point now. Uh, on the bonus, we use 10 seconds for bonus in our league, so, you know, you, what I've been doing is just doing this twice. So it runs down to zero and I give another five seconds. That way they can see the time. Okay, if they get the bonus right, I actually have to go down here and manually click on the plus one for their their team. Okay, so I can clear and we can check the buzzers. Let's have uh, everybody buzz in. East Jacob. West Carolyn. East Jason. So you can see how players are buzzing in and we can see how that works. So we have the, the visible timer here. We can now reset that, of course. We can stop it. By the way, this, this timer does not keep kids from buzzing in, so if they buzz after the zero goes out, it's still okay. That, but that little timer is just as a reference. It doesn't lock them out if it hits zero. So just to be aware of that. So this is a pretty good system. Uh, there are some things it doesn't have. It doesn't have the match time on here, the 12 minutes or the 15 minutes, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we can keep that separately. And for the price, this actually does quite a bit. And so it's actually pretty neat. We can have kids buzz in. We can give them points, you know, if we need to buzz in, give them a point there. And it actually has a little scoreboard, so it works quite well. So thanks for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful uh, to help you uh, run a match using buzzin.live. See you next time, and have a great season.